Yes, so, Mr. Tete, mm -hmm. how was it in these days? Yeah, uh, in fact, I started Susu far back 1987. I started Susu in Liberia. So I was doing this Susu up to the time when the war started. And I came to Ghana. Tell me about the beginning, the first uh, years. Huh? In Liberia. No, no, in no, Ghana. in Ghana. Yes, when we, I came to Ghana, I started the Susu. It wasn't easy because I just returned from Liberia war and I said I'm doing susu. In fact, susu is all about, about trust and they have to trust you before people will save from you. When I came, I was not doing only susu. I was selling. So when they come and they see that I have a shop, that was my guarantee. Anybody needs his money, that particular time, I'm able to give him the money up to today. And it's about from 1991 up to date, I'm still doing Susu at the same location. Okay, one more telephone call. Go for it. A busy man, yeah? Hello? 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 Cape Coast, capital until 1877, you still can see the remains of Ghana's role as a colony ruled by several European countries. Today one may know Ghana more for its great success in the world of football. The Black Stars qualified for the FIFA World Cup 2014 in Brazil. It's the third time in the row they got the chance to become champions. The population of Ghana lies among 25 million people. Natural resources as gold and petroleum or agricultural products as the cocoa are the base of a successful development of the country. For several hundred years, European slave traders used Ghana for their transatlantic trade. Thousands of African souls were held in castle dungeons. In Cape Coast, the gate of no return still witnesses their tragic destinies. Nowadays we know that with them a big part of the African potential spread out into the world. Our documentary deals with one further not well known aspect of the West African traditions. The daily Susu saving, a micro-financial tool for everyone. Let's check out Justice's place. His Susu office is based in the center of Accra, on a second-hand market close to Makula. When Justice started the Susu, he traded with goods. Today he and his staff are offering photocopies and secretarial works for their customers. But the actual heart of the business is the Susu. Maud, 33 years old, is working with Justice since 2011. Everything passes through her hands, the money and, of course, the Susu cards. Now, what's it all about? This is a usual Susu card on which all necessary informations are noted. These are... Above all, your name, your personal account number, the date on which you start the SUSU saving, and most important, your daily saving rate. As example, we put it to 5 Ghana CDs. Now, each and every day when you give the fixed rate to your SUSU collector, he marks one day on your SUSU card. After 31 days, the SUSU collector gives you the money of 30 days and keeps one daily rate as his personal commission. 
we meet some Susu clients. The nature of my job, I don't get the time to go to the bank. So this side, they don't close early too. Like the bank closed three o'clock. So I save my money with them. Then when I, I need it, I take it, then send it to the bank. It is helping me to keep my money very well because sometimes when it is with you and don't keep it there, you use it anyhow. So it helps me a lot by saving my money. It helped me because at times cannot go to the bank to save 10 Ghana, 10 Ghana. If you save 10 Ghana for here for one month, it will be a 300 Ghana for a month. You take it to go and buy goods or you can keep it, go and save it in the bank. The susu is good for me because I'm market woman. I sell food here. So every day I try to make susu for pay my children's school fees. My future plans, I have only one small girl. So everything I do for that girl, I save chairman place, pay my small girl school fees. That's my, everything I do because of small girl that I do susu. Susu is good for me about 20 years. I'm doing it and you put a little bit money there after the month you end off with something good, so it's okay. Do you know our work? You know end with any entitlement after you grow. So I made my man, when I, I get the money, I will invest in the land or the building so that when I grow old, I'll get a little store in, in my house and I'll manage it. And that's my plans now. This is a, a second-hand clothes sellers association, and we have over thousand shops here, and we have over two to three thousand members. A lot of them has established their businesses with true susu. Since I've been doing this for the past 20 years, I get a lot of trust, so I'm getting a lot of customers. Even some people, I told you earlier, they use this susu to build house, and today they are staying in their own houses. Some use this susu to buy their own private cars that they are using. So susu is good for you, me and you. It's all about it. If you don't know how to finance your business and you go for loan, you lost. So it's good to save your own money, like making the susu small, small by yourself. If you are going for loan like 50 million and you are paying like 70 million. Imagine how much are you going to get in your benefit and now the situation in Ghana is hard. So I'm glad and always I'm happy to do the susu, but not to take a loan. To be in like susu, it's like you are keeping your money to get it back in a monthly time or to get it back in a year. So it's good to make susu. <laughs> Otto, he is saving with justice from the very first days on. It's more than 25 years now. We Susu at the take do my everything. Because of the time at the close for the work, I can't go to the bank. Yeah. So the Susu make easier for me. To save money is very important for the market traders. To do so every day, that is the great advantage of the Susu. To learn more about it, I went to Kaneshi Market. This is a trading center in the western part of Accra. Here I met Mr. Abwaji Manu. He is the former president of the Ghana Susu Collectors Association. The Gaska is working together with about 500 Susu collectors all over Ghana. How you talk of Susu uh, in our language? The Akan language. Akan is a prevalent language in Ghana. They say susu. That is mesha. 
So in life, we do measure in life. So that we also measure in spending. If you want to be prosperous, if you want to have educate your children, live in a, a, a home, have a shelter over your head, you have to measure what you earn. So we want the people to know that apart from your capital, save something, build another secondary support so that that can cater for your education, for funerals and others, so that doesn't go into your capital. We give them education. At times we have stakeholders meeting and we advise them. We also share things in common. They become part and parcel of us. It's not only the savings and the collecting of the money, but we, we become an union, fellowship. Yeah. We the super letter, we don't need capital to operate because we don't give out loans. We are encouraging the people to save. And we tell them that don't take loan from bank to pay big interest on it. Save yourself, plan for yourself. If you want to buy a fridge, take two years, save for two years and buy the fridge so that nobody will come and harass you. Our forefathers thought that to have a wealthy life living, you have to measure your living and you have to measure your income. That came the word susu. Back to the second-hand clothes market in the center of Accra. There are several Susu collectors operating on the same market, but the Susu Office of Justice is a unique place. The clients walk in as if they were entering a normal bank. But the great difference is, here everybody knows each other and everything is rather casual. Maud has everything under her hands. All the Susu cards are in order to assure an easy access. So what was the record today? Mm, today, 94 customers came. And the money they brought was 2,045 Ghana City. In the center of Accra, you find the Coco House. This office complex holds several financial branches as the Apex Rural Bank. The Apex has a vision. It wants to expand the access of financial services in the rural economy of Ghana. I had a meeting with Roderick Aye, who is working for the Apex. In 2013, he wrote a book about the microfinancial business in Ghana. I want to know more about the effects of the Susu on the whole national economy. Susu over time has helped you know, the country in such a way that where the banks did not find their presence, Susu collectors can go to these people, whether in the rural areas, in the interlands, to mobilize money from them and put it back into the, uh, the sector. So in terms of the economy, economic impacts, it allows us to have resources from the various places into the national system for distribution. We can make it better by necessarily focusing on the SUSU mobilizer, building the capacity to better understand the work, the activities, the informal operations of their clients. Management or training is very important for the Susu collector to be able to fit into the dynamics of the current practices. The Susu collector need not necessarily change their methodology. The methodology of going to the client should rather be strengthened. The methodology of keeping the transaction simple should be maintained. If we are able to keep the traditional processes very well in terms of the card, in terms of the recording, in terms of receipting, then that business can be maintained. What it also does in the traditional setter is that it provides almost about 24 hours access to your money. 
in that the susu collector lives in your community you know where the person is you know who the person is you know his or her relatives in the need for money in the view of the night immediately you can just move knock on his door and explain show your card and you have your money to solve that financial need one key thing that we need to also look at is the fact that susu operate purely on trust and so the susu mobilizer must build his image in such a way that he can be trusted by the depositors Yes, the trust. So yeah, the trust is all about, Susu is about trust. So what comes next? So always, you have to be regular. If they don't meet you, you, you lose the trust that they have for you. So always, you have to be regular. When you are sleepy, people can even come and knock your door and take some money when there is emergency. Sometimes I'll be in the house, somebody will come, there is a problem. I need some money. Immediately, you have to give the person the money. You see, the person will be telling people, go, if you want to do susu, go to this man. That's how I have built my trust up to today. So uh, wait, what we're going to do is, we're going to turn and go back. This way, this way we leave this running okay. and just uh, do... Hmm. In Accra, I have about four to five hundred customers, and Osutu is a branch. We have about two hundred customers. So you know, we have about total about seven hundred customers. Salome, the wife of justice, is in charge of a daily susu shop, which is at the same time a mini supermarket. Not everyone can keep money for someone. So when you are keeping someone's money, you have to be very careful. I keep it in the bank for them. I keep it in the bank. So when they need it, I can go and take it and bring it to them. With the supermarket, is very good. It's a good advantage because she is staying here. At the end of the day, when you are in need and you want some of your money, you can come to her. And then maybe not all, oh, I want some small amount of my money. She can help you out. Until Salome is here, I want amount about 60 or 20 or 10. When I come to her, mm -mm. I'll get my money. As we can see, the susu is a great tool for the Ghanaian. It helps the people to save money and to found their own capital. To learn more about the need of savings, we are on our way to the Kua House, resident of the Credit Union Association of Ghana. There we met Mr. Dako, who is the general manager of the credit unions. He wrote several books and is a well-known expert for teaching the need of savings. Poverty is temporary. If people teach people how to consciously work and get themselves out of poverty, they can. But people should not wait, sit down and wait for government and think government can move them out of poverty. It will never happen. Nobody can do more for you than what you can do for yourself. Nowadays, if you go to hospital, you need money. You want to take care of your children, you need money. Taking care of yourself, you need money. If you go to church, you need money. Go to funeral, you need money. So people should have control over money and learn how to manage their limited financial resources. They normally kept the money 
under their pillow somewhere in their rooms and you agree with me that uh, it doesn't mean they are poor but if the money is so close to you mismanagement becomes easier you know a drunkard will go to the drinking spree after finishing the money rush back home and take more alcohol can uh, can, can, can enslave us uh, our mobile phone can enslave us the women dressing can enslave them anything the money that they get and put in the bag it will finish in five minutes time you know if you allow such things in consumption to enslave you uh, you cannot create wealth the social system is one of the best way to allow somebody to take the money temporarily and keep it for you accumulate it and return it to you and it's becoming one of the uh, most um, uh, laudable and uh, fast-growing microfinance institutions in Ghana because the banks are adopting the social system, credit unions are adopting the social system, uh, rural banks and others will all uh, come to that uh, level to adopt the social system collection of savings. There are about 500 credit unions spread all over Ghana all of them associated under the umbrella of the KUA. In 2011, they opened a training center which is located in Kaswa. Ms. Flama, a German senior advisor, and Mr. Tate Tope, the manager of the KU truck, are taking care of the trainers as well as the trainees. Bildung ist ja grundsätzlich der Schlüssel zum Erfolg und ähm, die Sparkassenstiftung ist eben hier vertreten, um jetzt erstmal das, den Trainingsbereich zu unterstützen, damit in erster Linie die Mitarbeiter einer Credit Union fit gemacht werden, auf die Kunden zugehen können, die Bankprodukte besser verkaufen können, zu sensibilisieren, warum Sparen wichtig ist. Die großen Banken sind in Ghana halt auch nicht im ländlichen Bereich vertreten, sondern es sind die Credit Union. Aber auch die können natürlich nicht den kompletten ländlichen Bereich abdecken. Und von daher ist das für viele Credit Union ein gutes Mittel, um die Leute zu erreichen, ob es jetzt so so heißt oder ein bisschen moderner Mobile Banking. Aber die Tatsache ist ja dieselbe. Wir gehen raus und versuchen unsere Kunden eben da zu erreichen, wo sie sind. It's a way of mobilizing financial resources uh, from people who do not earn much and so cannot save big amounts at a time, but can do it even though in small amounts, do it consistently, and that's the essence really of saving. They appreciate it very much if you can leave your credit union office, go to where they are, you know, uh, conducting their business, and then take their savings from them. So that is a great service to them. That's a big relief to them. And that is helping to mobilize more money that is outside of the banking system. What you're trying to do here is actually to impart knowledge, to provide information that would educate the minds of people. And, you know, even the good book, the Bible says, that for lack of knowledge, your people perish. Now the whole world is computerizing. And as credit unions, we need to do so, so that the work will be faster. Now, if you are doing the manual work, it will take you a lot of time and there will be a lot of mistakes. So it is important as managers, we learn how to use the computer so that the work will be faster and accurate. Also wünschen würde ich mir, dass das Thema der finanziellen Bildung wirklich aufgenommen wird, schon in den Schulplan. Also dass so früh wie möglich wirklich auch sensibilisiert wird, was ist eine Bank, was ist eine Credit Union, wie funktioniert das und welchen Effekt hat das wirklich, wenn ich für mein Leben eben sowas wie Sparen, mit dem Sparen anfange. Ich meine, in Deutschland kennen wir sowas wie den Weltspartag, ne? Ich als Kind habe ne, jedes Taschengeld in die große Spardose geworfen und einmal im Jahr ist man zur Sparkasse gegangen, weil man a, neugierig war, wie viel ist denn jetzt in dem Sparschwein, aber auch um ein schönes Geschenk zu bekommen. Und das ist so in unseren Köpfen drin, ähm, dass das, glaube ich, dann auch später einfach ein Automatismus wird. Also wenn ich als Kind eine Routine entwickle, dass ich da schon sparen kann, dann ist es hinterher auch als Erwachsener einfach. Das wäre jetzt ein Wunsch an die ghanaische Regierung, da eben auch so früh wie möglich anzufangen, um die Bemühungen, die es hier gibt, von allen möglichen Seiten dann auch zu unterstützen. 
to learn how to save money and then in a second step to learn how to use the savings in the right way is one of the main goals that people all over Ghana try to achieve. The trainers in the coup truck offering the knowledge for a better understanding. I traveled north to Tamale. Some 50 years ago, the first credit union of Ghana was founded here by a German priest. Today, the Germans are still here, working together with the credit unions. The GIZ is a German development organization and Friedhelm Kretzer is working for it as a development advisor. Since two years, he trains the staff of several credit unions located in the northern region. This project was originally aufgesetzt noch vom damaligen deutschen Entwicklungsdienst zur Stärkung der Credit Union Association in dem Schwerpunkt Entwicklung von Finanzsystemen. Und in der Zwischenzeit hat sich das Ganze ein bisschen gewandelt und unser Programm nennt sich jetzt Responsible Finance, wo es im Wesentlichen darum dreht, Supervision, also die Überwachung von Financial Institution und den Buddies zu schaffen. Es gibt über 500 Credit Unions und Credit Unions, die quasi in der Entwicklung sind. Die nennt man hier Study Groups. Eigentlich arbeiten die alle manuell, das heißt, es wird alles handschriftlich festgehalten. Und bei der handschriftlichen Festhaltung sind nicht ausreichend Prozesse vorhanden, die das Ganze ähm, kontrollieren. Es ist schon existent, dass Credit Unions SUSU betreiben. Manche nennen es SUSU ganz offensichtlich, da heißt es dann SUSU Savings in den Accounts, andere nennen es dann eben Mobile Banking. Das ist Im Prinzip auch dasselbe ist das sogenannte Mobilizers von Haus zu Haus ziehen und äh, wie bei den SUSUs auch äh, täglich die Spareinlagen einsammeln. Also ich würde mir wünschen, dass man zum einen natürlich, ähm, also unser Projekt heißt Responsible Finance, also dass man verantwortungsvoll mit äh, dem anvertrauten Geld umgeht. Das heißt auch, dass man es verantwortungsvoll ausgibt und sich gut überlegt, ob man jetzt welche Investitionen man denn tätigt. Mitglieder sparen für andere Mitglieder, damit die Gelder aufnehmen können. Und eben das auch als originären Selbstzweck zu sehen, ja. Und nicht zu sehen, so jetzt ist es wichtig, dass ich irgendwie Spareinlagen, Spareinlagen, Spareinlagen reinnehme. Sondern auch zu sehen, so ich muss was mit dem Geld anfangen. Und das, 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 diese Verwendung des Geldes muss wieder sinnstiftend sein. The sense of saving must be clear. But the sense of spending should be clear too, for a better future. The next day are spent in Kumasi, the capital of the Ashanti region, following an invitation by the Susu Collectors Association. We are having a meeting today uh, to build the capacity of our regional staff and the board. The people joining this particular training are drawn from all the regional secretariat offices of uh, GASCAD, or the Ghana Cooperative Susu Collectors Association. So all the participants at this particular meeting are either regional managers, accountants, and all administrative staff members. In order for our members to remain competitive in the market is for us to continue to build their capacity to be able to withstand the competition. It's a training that we believe that is not just only the formal form of training, but a participatory training, interactive and experiential training that can give them the hands-on understanding of what they're supposed to know about human resource management because it's a critical issue. But notwithstanding that something has to be done so that at least they can also go back and then develop the staff that they have to a certain level that they can deliver what is expected of them. All the staff, and from the board to the management at the region, the national secretariat to the regional, and even to down to the collectors, they should be able to understand the informal sector and they need to encourage them to do savings. We are learning a lot, because especially on human relationship. When you are working with people, you should know how to keep relationship with them, to know them very well, how you can just associate yourself with them to understand your concept and also apply to the growth of the business. By so doing, I will learn how to even employ people to help me to establish that relationship with clients 
to grow my client base, even up to 500, so that I can even employ other people also to manage the business together with me. In these days, the Susu collectors have to cope with new challenges, and there are more to come. We remember the traditional Susu card on which the collector marks the day when he picks up the money, usually practiced for a long time. Today, this has already changed. Several microfinance companies are using mobile phones to keep the records of the traditional Susu account. This new technology is provided by Ghanaian companies like, for example, Logicel Ghana Limited. It is a service company which delivers innovative technology that enables a modern form of mobile banking. In the next step, microfinance businesses are using this technology and provide it to their customers. In 2014, the Ghanaian microfinance company G-Life has employed over 150 collectors, dealing with about 40,000 customers on the Amafru taxi rank Eva is collecting the daily saving deposits from the taxi drivers. When you use the mobile phone, once you print out the receipt, they know that you've deposited their money into the account. But with the traditional one, when you write it, they don't trust you so much. But when you use the phone and the printer, they know that you've deposited the money into the account. This one is faster and easier. By the time you come, your branch manager knows the amount of money you have already. So you just check your e-cash and give her the money that you have in your hand. I know people who had bad experience with the traditional susu. So when I saw this uh, mobile susu, mobile saving and other thing, I thought it would be better, it would be safe and secure because it is with an institution. Anytime I deposit, I get an alert on my phone. So it keeps record of everything that I am doing. So I was able to save these five five CDs to an appreciable amount. Then I told them to convert it into an investment. They did that for me and I was able to raise money to pay my children's school fees, to do some few other things. And I think it's good. This modern form of keeping the records while still doing the traditional susu will come up in the near future all over Ghana. One more time I went to Cape Coast. Having the long history of the country in mind, we know today that the daily susu saving is one more African tradition that has to be shared with the world. I met Mr. Hooper, a susu collector from Cape Coast. I followed him on one of the local markets to assure my understanding for the need of the susu. Susu has been with us for quite a long time. You know, it started way back. The idea was to help the market women put their small, small monies together. I come to them almost every day. And whatever you choose to pay for the day, I collect it. I mark it in your card. Every face of the card is 31 days. I mark the 31 days. I give you the 30 days. Then I keep one day as my commission. The microfinance, they promise the women with loans. But with the traditional Susu, we don't give loans, uh, but we make sure that whatever you put down, you pay it on demand. When you demand, we pay it for you at the right time, at the right place, yes. Close to the famous Cape Coast castle, you find a lot of small restaurants. Kenya is the owner of a small vegetarian place. He is saving money by using several microfinance businesses. Every day. I have some amount that I put it inside the susu. That I don't know the year, I go for it. To use some of the money to, you know, to arrange my place, to uplift my place through the susu. Now we see the business is improving. None of my people never run away with my money. You know. I have about three people, three different people I save. I work with them as much you know, so so. Yeah, what happened is that I went there to get some of my money and, you know, their shop was locked up. So then I asked, you know, people around that what happened to them and they say their manager, you know, wasn't around. 
So that today Monday I can come there. But then during the week we can um I met the same woman who saved with the same people and she's telling me that the company has you know collapsed and you know so now I think our money has been locked, you know. So we don't know what to do now. We need to watch out, you know, because some of them like sheep now wolf clothing, you know. They come in with good vibes and you know, at the end of the day they mess up with it, you know. But we keep on working with some of the others too, you know, because in everything have good and bad, you know. Yeah. So we keep on doing the system still. We never give up, you know, straight. What do you think? How will the susu change within the next uh, five years? Because now you see there's a lot of competition with the microfinance institutes, even the credit unions, all of them are using the susu as the tool. So what is the competition for your side as a susu collector? We need to improve in the near future because the microfinance is giving us a challenge. But we know they can't compete with us because we, for instance, we are with the people. Every problem, their problem is our problem. When they get funeral, we go with them. When there is any outdooring, a child is born, they invite us. Any problem, we are with them. Why this microfinance is different? So they can't compete with us. And the susu is all about trust, as I have said. So once the people trust you and you move with them, whenever there is problem with them, whenever there is a funeral, you go with them. Whenever there is adoring, you go with them. I know that's why the microfinance cannot compete with the ordinary susu collectors. So then, uh, I think it was a nice talk. Yeah. And uh, all the best for the susu. Thank you. Thank you. The best is yet to come for susu. Yeah. We need to improve the services. And within some few years, this susu will go places. Even the Europeans will come and learn about our susu in Ghana. And because of me, yeah? Yes. So here, yeah, we're facing this. Yeah. Susu is good for you. 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 Me and all the world, you know. It's good to have Susu in your life I you don't know what will happen to you one day Yes, me I tell you, it's all about the Susu, you know It's good to say if when you have a little Me tell you, brother It's all about Susu yeah. If you get something You have to say Susu is good for you Got all the pop plays for you to be safe. Susu is good for you. It's all about Susu, 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 Susu. It's good for you. It's good for you. It's all about Susu, 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 Susu. It's good for you. It's good for you. 
Yes, all about susu, 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 susu. It's good for you. It's good for you. It's all about susu, 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 susu. It's good for you. It's good for you. It's all about susu, 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 susu.